Okay, Lily, we are so excited to have you on the show today. Uh, we're going to talk all about your upcoming graduation and what you're looking for in a future role. Um, for those of you out there who don't know, Lily was our 2023 summer intern uh, for Marketing Happy Hours. So she came down from Ohio to Tampa, Florida to work with us um, this summer. And we were so impressed with her and just so happy to have her on our team. So thank you, Lily, again for all of your hard work. But um, before we get started in diving into uh, your Open for Hire episode, we just want to know what your go-to happy hour drink is. Has it changed since the last time we talked to you? So I don't even know. Hey guys, I don't even know what I said last time, but my new happy hour drink is an Aperol Spritz. I don't care that it's cold up here. I'm still drinking it. Also, I was prepared. I'm drinking a poppy. Um, yeah. We got strawberry lemon today, um, but I, I knew you guys were going to ask, so I was like, wait, I need to be ready with my drink. Um, went to Kroger this morning and got it, <laughs> but um, yeah, Avril Spritz don't care that it's winter. I will be drinking that anytime I go out now. Espresso martini if I'm feeling like cozy, though. I love that and see what we mean she is our girl like if that is me and Cassie combined Cassie's an Aperol spritz any time of year I'm an espresso martini anytime I can so 100% and we're both big poppy lovers too so oh yeah love so much <laughs> awesome okay Lily could you just tell us about your career path so far your journey in college and everything um kind of consider if you were in a job interview right now and the interviewer was asking you, tell me briefly about yourself. Uh, what would you say? Yeah, definitely. So I am graduating in three weeks from Ohio University. It is so surreal, but I'm originally from Columbus, Ohio. I came to Ohio University for sport management. So I'll be graduating with two bachelor's degrees, one in sport management and the other in marketing. Um, I've done a lot of work on campus with our athletic department, with our football team, and then our basketball team. I've also worked for the Big Ten, the SEC, and the MAC. And then I had the pleasure of working with these two amazing women this past summer um, for the Marketing Happy Hour podcast in Tampa, which was absolutely amazing. So I've dipped my uh, hands in a dip a lot of different marketing opportunities um, for sports. It's all been social media and communications. And then I was able to get the marketing agency and a podcast realm over the summer, which I absolutely loved. And so, yeah, most of my work has been digital marketing. Um, but yeah, that's a little bit about my career path. Um, it's really weird that I'm graduating because I started college during COVID essentially, because my fall semester, it was like 30% of people on campus and it was all online classes. And then my spring semester, my freshman year, um, I was at home. So it's like really weird that I'm a senior now. So, but yeah, here I am 22. I'm ready for the real world. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, speaking of that too, you mentioned a couple of the different roles you've held recently. You've done some freelancing as well, which I have to mention. So working with some different uh, local businesses, running their social and things like that, but just tapping into some of those different roles and some of the experiences you've had, what was a valuable lesson from any of those that you've learned that you'll take with you to your next role? Yeah, definitely. I was really thinking this one over this past week. And I think the biggest lesson that I'm going to take into the real world, I guess, is that closed mouths don't get fed. Um, I really need to find my voice and, you know, figure out that no one's going to vouch for me unless I vouch for myself. And especially like being a woman in the sport and entertainment industry, I definitely have found my voice in the past four years. So I think that's the main lesson that I just need to keep with myself is that, you know, if I want something, speak up. If I don't like something, voice your opinion. Um, so yeah, closed mouths don't get fed. Oh my gosh. I love that. I think that's so important to realize at a young age too, is that you can advocate for yourself in your role, no matter what age you're at. And you do have really important things to say, and you do have a voice in your industry. So I love that you are uh, realizing that even before you start in your first full time after college role. Um, that's amazing. Um, well, we kind of know what inspired your recent job search, uh, graduation and kind of moving into quote unquote, the real world. Um, but what has your process of looking for a job looked like, um, just this season of, you know, finals and graduation and all of that stuff, but then also kind of like trying to navigate 
the job search in such a weird market right now? What does that look like for you? No, seriously, it has definitely been weird. Um, It's very nerve wracking, especially since, again, I graduated in three weeks and I have finals that I still have to, you know, focus on while also focusing on a full time job. Um, So in the spring, January to May, I actually secured a digital marketing position with a consulting firm in Kentucky. Um, I was doing some freelance work with her over the summer while I was also um, doing my marketing happy hour so really happy to be with her uh full time January to May and it will be remote because I'll still be on campus um taking that last bit of semester in um I guess as a college student um but I'll be working so I'll be looking for a full-time position in May of 2024 after that um, remote digital marketing job so I'm gonna go about it probably um starting in like March I would say just to figure out you know if I do want to stay in digital marketing if I do want to do a consulting firm you know weighing my options with my sport degree as well um but it's definitely been weird especially looking around at like my peers that have you know either they've gotten a full-time position already for like May 2024 especially my friends that are like you know accounting majors or finance majors they've had their job since last summer but obviously that's a totally different industry that I'm going into so it's taken a lot to be like Lily calm down you're fine like no one is pressuring you to do anything like you're right where you're supposed to be so taking it day by day for sure but I'm gonna do a lot of research over this Christmas break and the holiday season to figure out you know what do I really want um especially location wise I do know that I want to get out of Ohio I've told Cassie and Erica this probably every time we've spoken (laughs) um (laughs) that I'm done with the cold so that is my only like um constant right now is the location of wanting to get out of Ohio somewhere warmer um but yeah it's just definitely weird again being 22 and figuring out like okay it's time to go Lily find a job so we're getting there yeah it's a stepping stone and I think you know you're young you're fresh in your career and you'll figure it out Erica and I are still figuring it out and we're just a few years older than you. I have friends older than us that are still figuring out. So I think it's just giving yourself grace with that. And, um, it's amazing how many opportunities can open up from these new roles that you step into. So you never know who you're going to meet or the people that you're going to get, um, you know, introduced to and everything that could open up new doors. So I think that's something always very important to remember, but you're going to do great. Um, Lily, I have to ask too, you know, you kind of already mentioned that you're trying to figure out what that future role could look like for you, that next step, uh, but any dream companies or industries that you're leaning towards, you mentioned you have some attachment to the sports world, but anything that you have kind of thought about thus far that you might use as a criteria for searching for a future position? Yeah, definitely. So on the sport and entertainment side, um, that's one of the markets that I'm really interested in. I would love to work um, for a, an agency, so a sport and entertainment agency. Uh, the top ones right now are United Talent Agency, Wasserman, uh, GMR, and then Octagon as well, and then WME. So any of those top ones would be absolutely a dream, especially Clutch Sports. Um, they just uh, signed Jalen Hurts. They her the agent for him is absolutely amazing. So it'd be a dream to work for Clutch. Um, and then on the other side of just marketing or just you know a different industry would probably be like a Sephora or a a Fenty Beauty that I'm a huge Rihanna fan. So I would love to work for Fenty or even Rare Selena Gomez. Those are probably like my definitely like my dream companies for sure. Um, love the beauty and personal care side, but I also do love my sport and entertainment side. That is so awesome. We are so excited to see wherever you land up, uh, wherever you land. And we just can't wait to keep cheering you on in all that you do in the future. And we know that you're going to do great things. So uh, thank you again for joining us. But we want to let everyone know where they can find you, follow along with your career journey and what you're up to in the future um, on LinkedIn or on Instagram or whatever. Where can everyone find you? Yeah, for sure. So my LinkedIn is just my first and last name, Lily Whitman, W-I-T-T-M-A-N. Everyone always puts the H in there, but I totally understand. It sounds (laughs) like Whitman. It's okay. Um, And then I actually do have a professional business Instagram where I have been documenting everything I've done over the past four years in college on Instagram. It's just called biz with Lil. So B-I-Z and then with Lil. So I've been posting everything that I've done in like literally the past four years on there. So she's 
she's a full feed, but I'm happy I started that. But yeah, yeah, it was such a pleasure and honor working with Erica and Cassie over the summer. Like seriously, no better supporters, especially, you know, going into the job market. So I'm so happy to have them on my side. Oh, we appreciate you. And that's such a cool idea to do that Instagram feed of like all of the professional things that you've been up to. That is super, super smart. And Cassie and I have talked about that before, just how professional you are and we just are always cheering you on. So I love you guys. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) Well, thank you so much for coming on today. Like Erica said, we're just truly grateful for you and uh, just love watching you grow and excited for what the future holds for you. So we'll definitely be staying tuned and reach out to Lily if you have any positions that you want to chat with her about and uh, just stay connected with her and we'll all watch what she does here in the future. Thank you guys so much for having me. It was such a pleasure to see you guys again. We are so excited to share that our first ever free marketing happy hour digital resource is now available. Download the dream career game plan today at marketinghappyhr.com forward slash freebie. That's marketinghappyhr.com forward slash freebie. This five-step workbook will guide you through defining your goals, building your network, diversifying your skills, influencing where you're at and investing in your growth. Cassie and I created this resource with marketing careers in mind, but the framework can be applied to any industry. Our hope is that this workbook will help you truly elevate your career, whether you're in the market for a new position or just looking to make your mark in your current organization. No matter where this resource finds you, we are cheering you on every step of the way. So go check it out at marketinghappyhr.com forward slash freebie to download and make your career dreams come true.